Just a quick lesson on this piece, um, some technical and musical ideas to think about. You can download the sheet music for free from uh, thisisclassicalguitar.com. You can also buy the tab there as well. Um, and there's a link in the YouTube info section. So a couple of comments. Um, this piece is, is around the RCM grade three level. Um, there's some upper position playing, but none of it's too challenging. There's not a whole bunch of barring or anything like that. So it's a very welcoming, piece for the early intermediate student or the late beginner kind of. Um, a couple of quick comments first. In bar two, um, the fingering that I've listed works really well. It's very ordinary. It's very comfortable. It doesn't go too smoothly into the next bar though. So if you really wanted to get it super smooth, you could change it. slide the four down so the two is available for the next B on the next bar. So that would be three and one on the second beat of the second bar. Slide the fourth finger down. But really, um, for most students, I would recommend you just use a basic strong fingering as I've listed in the score. And then just sneak the second finger up um, right before. Because you can hold on to the other notes for a second while sneaking the second finger up, it's not that big of a deal. In bars 21 to 31, um, there's a couple of occasions where I've left the, the G um, on an open third string rather than closing it on the fourth, like I have in other places here. Um, that's just for ease of what's coming up next, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, if you want to change those to the fourth string, feel free to do so, but otherwise just follow the fingering that I've listed. I've listed it for ease and for student use, so I would recommend that. One last thing is that the DC alfine, DC alfine means da capo, so it goes to the beginning and then you play all the way until it says fine. Um, due to different sources, you could also play a del segno from bar nine. So you could, instead of going back to bar one, you could go to bar nine and play to the fine. It's really up to you. They both sound good. I went with the DC just because it adds a little bit of length, which is great for beginners to get a lot out of the piece. And it's nice to hear the whole intro again, that it's just kind of ABA format, but, um, but it's really up to you. So you can choose which one you like. So let's just walk through the piece and just talk about it a little bit. Um, careful of your right hand fingering. M, A, M, A. So to keep that right hand fingering very, very clear. Um, also really enjoy those suspensions. The G resolving. So like tension release, tension. You, you just want to make sure that that happens each time. Same thing here. So that tension is caused by the note not being a chord tone, and then it resolves into a chord tone. When you get to bar five, it's a shift to the fifth position. Not so bad because you have some open strings right there. Just make sure you move the whole hand up. Keep your 
your knuckles parallel with the strings and have your arm just move that whole hand up. Make sure your thumb moves with the hand. So I keep my thumb behind my second finger. So if I shift up to fifth position, my thumb would be behind the sixth fret. So going from bar four here. bar 9 I use my third finger just so it's smooth from this B into the E. Slur. Um, you could use different fingers on these upper notes but because they're going to be used in a second in a bar later um, I'd recommend using 3-4 as I've listed. Shift In this next section, just again, keep your positions very, very clear. So in bar five, I went from fifth position to third position to first position, meaning the hand is just going to move around like this with the thumb following that second finger. Here's the second position, so you should move your thumb up with your hand into second position. Then fourth position, so again, move your thumb so it's it's going with the hand. Really, the arm just moves the hand around. Back to second position, first position, second position, and then just squeeze your way into the first position again. There, see, I've used the open G instead of the closed G just because of what's happening next. so you can transition more easily. If you like the sound of the closed G on the fourth string, feel free to do so. It sounds really good elsewhere in the piece and I've notated it as such. So not too much else to talk about with this piece. It's just a really nice kind of Spanish sounding piece and um, a really great level because there's very little difficulties, but it is, there is some there's lots of activity, so it sounds really great. Um, and it's a really great challenge for students to kind of get it up to a nice comfortable speed with good phrasing, but not so difficult that it, there's anything huge to overcome. Just keep those positions really, really clear in the left hand and you'll be fine. As far as right hand fingering goes, it's pretty straightforward. It's just those arpeggios. And then I'm mainly using thumb eye on these sections. And, and that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed that piece. And again, just download the music for free as a PDF on the website and the link is in the YouTube info section. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.